Orange County school leaders are signing off on keeping a sales tax around to pay for building renovations and improvements. We have been paying the tax for years, and as West News Gail Pascal Brown explains, the district says they've been putting that money to good use. Gail. You're absolutely right, Stuart. Orange County School Board members say this half a penny sales tax would keep the renovations going, maintain the schools they have, and build new ones. Now, tonight, the school board chair said that 100% of the district's capital improvements comes from the half a penny sales tax. All in favor, place, in favor please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Absolutely what I expected. Unanimous vote of approval to place this on the ballot. With that, Orange County Public School Board members gave the thumbs up to continue funding school renovations and construction through a half cent sales tax. School districts determine the trajectory of a community's growth, of a city's growth. People come to your city because of the schools. Once Orange County commissioners give the thumbs up, the half cent surtax would be put on the November 5th ballot for Orange County voters to decide. We've built so many new schools that have helped us, one, keep up with growth, two, get rid of an awful lot of our, our portables. We still have some to go, but a tremendous improvement. But here's the biggest challenge we have. All of those schools, they have to be maintained. She says the only way to do that is through the funding from the half cent sales tax. According to an Orange County Public School Engineering Oversight Committee, the surtax has raised more than $4 billion for school building projects and improvements and opened 65 new schools. That's since the inception of the half cent sales tax in 2003. Whether you have kids in school or not, you are benefiting from a top-notch district that increases property values, that attracts uh, diverse businesses because they're confident that they can pull a workforce here. It's all of those things. According to the district, more than half of the revenue comes from tourists instead of people who live in Orange County. Now the next step is for this to go before the full Orange County Board of Commissioners for its approval to put it on the November ballot. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, live in Orange County for West 2 News.